All right, guys, so, so I just did that very long video of just doing a walk around, and this is one of the tractors that I've kind of have, that I've not really shown that much in the videos that I've done in the past up here. And if not, probably one of my grandfather's uh, rarest tractors. So this is a 1953 Ford Golden Jubilee. As you see right there. My grandfather bought this from a friend of his in 1997. The tractor was in much better shape than it is now. But just except, well, back then it didn't have very good tires on it. And my grandfather had bought brand new tires on all four. And they've not really had that much use on them. As you can see right here, you can still see the number from right here on the treads. That's obviously indicating the size of the tires. Because actually, believe it or not, my grandfather would used to have this tractor sitting uh, in the driveway uh, at my grandparents' house down in Bedford. Yeah. Just before they uh, put this uh, double wide uh, manu re -manu manufactured home in about 20 years ago. Now they have had this property for a long time. Well, actually my grandfather's side of the family, his parents, because my grandfather grew up on this property. So anyhow, that's not what the video is about. It's just about this tractor. I figure I'd do a little startup on it. So got the keys right here. Yep, how about that? That's a way of knowing that that this key fits on this tractor. That's why it's got a Ford keychain on it. So the key, key just goes in right there. So turn it on. This has a four-cylinder Red Tiger engine. This is probably one of my grandfather's best running tractors. Let's turn on the fuel valve because there's the sediment wall right there. Okay. Okay, make sure we are in neutral. It's a four speed manual. Crack the throttle open a little bit. And we'll hit the starter. This engine has been rebuilt, so I don't know if that's really the original. I doubt that that's the original hours since it had been rebuilt. I think it did get rebuilt probably before my grandfather had even had bought it.
as you can see it's got the three point hitch on it and this tractor does not have a live PTO I think it was an option for a live PTO because live PTO was starting to get popular back then in the mid 1950s I love how good this tractor idles. Now it originally had a six volt battery. It's now been converted to 12 volt. So that's why it's got a, an alternator right there. And also if you do a 12 volt conversion, make sure you do have a, a 12 volt uh, ignition coil and also as well as 12 volt lights and these headlights they still work you just flip the switch pull it up the power on the lights so pretty much everything on this tractor works and this tractor does not have any leaks at all whatsoever this is, this is probably the only antique tractor that my grandfather has had that doesn't leak at all. All right, let's shut her down. All right, we'll turn the fuel valve off from right here. I usually like to just turn it off just to be on the safe side. But my grandfather had always left this fuel valve on just because he used this tractor all the time. All right, so that's a startup on a 1953 Ford Golden Jubilee. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And so, thanks for watching.